Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to explore the rest of the tools in ABC of Paint. You might remember if you watched our last video, we went through all the basic tools, paintbrush and the paint rollers and the spray can and the paint bucket. But now, as you can see, if we click on this arrow down here on the right, there are a few more tools that we can use. So let's check these out. First one we see is the type tool. And you can type your text in. Maybe I want to say, hello, class. You can change the colors or change the font. And go back. We also have shape tools, so you don't have to draw the shapes by hand. If you want a square, you can make a square. If you want a triangle, you can make a triangle. And you can use those shapes or these straight lines. And then you don't have to worry about drawing them all exactly uh, freehand like we did with the paintbrush. We also have some stickers on here. So if you want to bring a little picture or emoji type button, we can click through and maybe, well, just for fun, I'm going to get a submarine. And I can change the size of that, make it bigger and smaller. Let's go to our next set of tools. We have the pattern brush, which is similar to the spray can you might remember. We click on the pattern brush and its default is this rainbow, but we can get some different old patterns like a train track, bricks, footsteps, and a couple more. So that one's kind of fun. Now let's take a look at our mirror brush. This is great for if you're talking about symmetry and you want to make things the same on both sides. I'm actually going to erase and start a new picture for this one. So the mirror brush can make things the same on both sides. So if I make something happen on the top left, it's happening in all four corners. And we have a nice symmetrical, almost mandala type design. And you can do layers with that too. So maybe I get another one, thicker brush. This is one of my favorite tools on the whole game. Then we've got our pattern stamp, another one where we can just put some different patterns and shapes on. So maybe we click and drag some hands or balloons or flowers. You get the idea. or our paint balloon tool, which is kind of fun. If you click it, it'll blow up and drop a little splatter on your picture. The longer you click it, the bigger your splatter is gonna be. So now that we've looked at all the tools, let's see if we can put them together to make a picture. Last time we did a house using mostly the paintbrush tool, but this time, let's see if we can do it differently. Maybe we start with the shape tool to get a square for the basic shape of our house. And I can click that, put it where I want it. Maybe while I'm on the square tool, I do a window. Move that over. Then maybe I try a rectangle for the door. Now there's no rectangle tool. But what we can do is make our square and drag that down. And now we've got a rectangle for the door. Now we can do a triangle roof. Make it nice and big. But maybe we want to change the size or the length of some of the sides so we can drag the corners and move that on over. Now let's switch it up. We know about the paintbrush tool. So we could go back and maybe we use the paintbrush and we make some grass. So I'll click on green, 
I want to make it nice and thick. And then maybe we add a sticker, because those are fun. So I'll go back to the stickers, look around, see what I like, and then, oh, maybe the bus is coming to pick us up. And I can drag the corners to make that bigger. So we can have a lot of fun with this. Try out as many tools as you can. Make some pictures that you want to make. Make a picture for a family member or a friend. And then when you're done, you can even click to save it, and you can send it to whoever you'd like. So let me know how it goes, and I'll see you guys next time.